Hello, this may not be a day long remembered, but it will see the end of my reviews, at least for now, of these helmet head things. This is the Darth Vader one. I'll tell you what, building this made it abundantly clear to me why this helmet costs more than the average one from this series, because there are a lot of pieces in there. I mean, you can look at the part count on the box and compare and say, okay, well, yeah, that's the excuse, but is it, is it real? Does it really matter? All those extra pieces, do they really add to the building experience? Do they really add to the size of this and all? I'll tell you, they, they definitely do add to the building experience. This is not that much larger on display than some of the other, uh, some of the other helmets and, you know, these frills down here, these, these extensions at, at the base of, of the helmet are, are hollow. They're, you know, they're, they're just, yeah, you can open it up, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, they're kind of added on, but the center section of this, the core of it, where most of the mass is, is complex. It is very complex. There are a lot of different building techniques. Some of them I found to be particularly interesting, the, the strategies that were used to get the shaping in the, the core of the face. And that shaping is pretty good uh, for something, you know, made of regular Lego pieces at this scale. The eyes, these portions right here, you know, the, the center covers for, I guess you would call them the visor parts are, are mounted to some bars that are clamped in, in an interesting way that are just set up specifically to hold these on and to allow them to be attached at specific angles. The eyebrow parts here, you, know, you kind of have eyelid here, which is its own thing, which is at an angle. The eyebrows are a little bit, a little bit loose here, but they are put in at a unique angle as well. These bars along the sides are done at their own special angles. These uh, two by three tiles here on the on the sides of the mouth are put in at their own angle as well. Like there's, there's a bunch of really interesting stuff done here. There's some upside down building at the base of the, the eyes in there and everything. So yeah, I'm actually very satisfied with the, again, the strategies that were used to, to get the shaping here. You open this up and you can see a little bit of the, the interior there, not too much of it, but you know, a little bit of ball joint stuff, a little bit of clip based stuff. And there are a ton of colors, you know, big bright uh, patches of, of color going back and forth, a lot of rainbow type stuff uh, in, in the inside of this. But fortunately, all of that does get, uh, let's see, does it go up or does it go down? It's somewhere in between. It does get covered up. So when this is done, it looks pretty good on display with one exception for me. There's one thing that I definitely don't like about this. And I think it's the same thing that the largest number of people who have problems with this have also called out. And that is what's going on in here uh, for, for the mouth. The, the vertical slats should go the full length of this space. They should continue right down into this one by four tile that's facing towards us, the smooth surface that's facing towards us. Uh, also, the sticker sheet for this uh, was printed offset, unfortunately, so you can clearly see that you know, that's not centered up. That's not my fault. That's just how the die cut occurred. And you can see it here for this sticker here, also for the nose. So that's offset. It was supposed to have uh, just an arch inside of an arch. And instead it kind of looks like the, the light is coming from, from, you know, up, upper, upper, our left for it. It's, it's not supposed to be like that, but that that's, that's an unfortunate circumstance. However, I think more of a design issue here is the fact that the, the design of, of these vertical, these lines, that does not come all the way down here, which is very awkward looking to me. I think maybe even leaving that out might look better because it just kind of looks like, is it a mustache? If you look at this one by four down here as a, as a lower lip, then the upper part looks like a mustache. Or if you don't see that, depending upon how the light hits it, you know, then it kind of looks like he's just, I don't know, those are his upper teeth or something. He's got kind of a, kind of rodent teeth, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not quite right. And I, I think I, I totally get, uh, the feedback from folks who, who have a big problem with that. I think it looks decent from a distance, but as soon as you notice that it starts to spoil the, the whole thing, because it takes away from the, the overall seriousness. Otherwise, this is a very serious thing. It's, it's done with, with great pride and great care for the, the source material. I would say would have been interesting if they could have come up with a way to have just a little bit of red in the eyes. I think I would have even accepted uh, stickers for that. They could, heck, they could have been clear backed stickers with just 
red that would be ultimately transparent to give you just a tiny bit of tinge of the hue of red there. But black is fine. Black is fine. Just a, just something additional would have would have been even better to get a little bit of the, the red in there. The shaping here, maybe it's a little bit a little bit squared right at this corner here, but I'm okay with it. Um, maybe the back is a little bit flat. Maybe that bothers me just a little bit more how straight this is here. And then we start with, with the turn. It's not bad. You know, there's there's some some cascading here. You can see a little bit of gap in here that doesn't actually bother me that much. And you don't see this from around the back that frequently, but it is designed to be a 360 degree model, you know, not something that has uh, a camera unfriendly side to it. Uh, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with most of this. I personally have no problem with the studded surface for all of this. Um, I think that the shaping is, is good. Would have been nice if there was more, uh, maybe just a, a more consistent uh, ratio of studded surface to, to unstudded surface. Cause you know, the, the center part of the face here is not studded like that. So you just get those two different textures. But I think that focusing on the overall shaping rather than the texture was the right decision here. And certainly this would have been way more expensive if tiles were used to try to cover up all those studs and it may not have ended up even looking as good as it is. And of course with these, as always, there's the stand, which is just the standard fare, the basic stuff. And the plaque is a print. These are the leftover pieces and the number of them gives you just a little hint of how many more pieces there are in this set on the whole, and especially little little ones uh, when these are the, the ones left over. But the sticker sheet, you can see even right here just how that was not cut with proper alignment at all. So back to the price, I paid $70 US for this, seven zero, compared to the normal ones that are usually 60 on average. And honestly, I feel like this is less overpriced than the others. This is less overpriced than the $60 ones. That said, this still feels overpriced to me. Just there, there is a lot more substance here. Uh, whatever percentage is, is the difference between 60 and, and 70. It feels like there's a greater percentage of added bulk and value and worth and seriousness and display value with this. Not everybody will agree with me on that and that's that's fine. But I do have, for example, this $50 thing just to compare sizes. Sorry, I don't have uh, one of the, the previous season versions or you know previous season helmets or heads from Star Wars still put together. But this just shows you, you know, the difference in overall display size and presence command and this one has pretty good presence as well you know just it's a, it's a decent representative of, of the size of, of a typical one but it really comes down to the build inside of this for the main part of the face how that's structured and all the things that have to be set up to be able to attach the parts that you see here all the colorful stuff inside the studs on every side and upside down construction, the bars that are set up to be able to put clips on at different angles, that's all valuable to me. I still feel like these are way overpriced, generally speaking. So this one was 50, I'd love for it to be 40 or less. This one is 70, I'd love for it to be 50 or less. Yeah, that, that actually feels about, feels about right to me. For the amount of stuff that's here for its size, for how good it looks, um, and certainly that needed to be fixed without question. Uh, I'm, I'm actually personally not that mad about the inclusion of a sticker for the, the nose there. I don't think, I don't think the nose is, is that bad. Um, but I, I do wish that the sticker was, was good. You know, the, the one that I got again, had that offset, but otherwise overall, I feel like the designer did a pretty darn good job with this. Uh, yeah, I just wish that the, the prices were way more reasonable for what you get. Let me know what you think, though. I've said what I have to say. Feel free to say what you have to say in the comments, and I'll talk to you again soon.